Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Chloe from Collier County Public Library. I'm here today for a special reading in the garden at the Naples Botanical Garden, as you can see. Um, I'm going to read you a couple books about gardens today. And did you know that this week you can visit the Naples Botanical Gardens for free if you have a library card? You can visit naplesgardens.org and you can sign up to visit for complimentary access. You can also sign up at the library for our summer reading program called Tales and Tales. We can, you can get a bookmark, which is a reading log, and some other cool things at the library. All right, the first book we're gonna read is called Counting in the Garden by Kim Parker. One cat purring in the garden. Do you see the cat? Two turtles meeting in the leaves. Can we count the turtles? One, two. Three dogs frolicking in the posies. Let's count the dogs. One, two, three. All right, what comes after three, you guys? Ready? Four bunnies finding love in the shade. Let's count. One, two, three, four. That one was kind of tricky. What comes after four? Five dragonflies darting between the daisies. One dragonfly, two, three, four, five. Six ladybugs tiptoeing along the stem. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. What comes after six? Seven birds nesting among the blossoms. Ready, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven birds. What comes after seven, guys? You guessed it, eight bumblebees buzzing in the blooms. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, where's eight? Eight bumblebees. And after eight comes nine inchworms inching towards the petals. Ready? Let's find them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That one was really tricky. I hope you found them all. And after nine comes 10 butterflies flitting among the flowers. Let's count to 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Counting in the garden from one to ten. The end. Good job counting with me, you guys. Counting here at the Naples Botanical Garden. We're going to do one more book called My Garden by Kevin Hankey. Are you ready? My mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, there would be no weeds and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. In my garden, the flowers could change color just by my thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. And if you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate and I would eat them. If I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Sometimes in my garden, good, unusual things would just pop up. Buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings. The 
tomatoes would be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would glow like lanterns. It's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? asks my mother. Oh, nothing. Just working in the garden. Great job reading here at the Naples Botanical Gardens. Remember, you can visit this week with your library card. And don't forget to sign up for our Tales and Tales summer reading program. As you can see, we really like animals this summer. Come into your library. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.